I'm Kyle. You don't need to know last names because we both know you don't care. Here today, gone tomorrow. And welcome to whatever news. Today we're going to be talking about everything from the sucky weather to what's going on in sports and what's happening here at MATC. Our first story is about a guy who got caught masturbating in the second floor of the C building in the ladies' bathroom. Here's Clap with the story. Clap? In this very bathroom was a man who remained unknown, electrically caught, masturbating. And here's what he has to say about it. Sir, why did you decide to masturbate in the girls' bathroom? That was a law. But someone said they caught you in there with your pants down. Who said that? A witness. We cannot display the witnesses. Well, your witness is a law. I think that was a girl that tried to talk to me a while back, but I told her no, so she had to come up with a law. So she came up with this and shut up a lot because she, she didn't want to talk to you? No, because I didn't want to talk to her. So because you didn't want to talk to her, she said you masturbated in the girl's bathroom and she caught you. Yes. <laughs> she said she heard noises coming out the bathroom when she walked in. How would she know it was you? Why would I be in a woman's bathroom? Because you know women don't be, usually be in my bathroom on the second floor. Well, I'm never going to the second floor, so that's a lie. For those of you, I guess we'll never know. This is Clap for whatever it is. Well, what's up with that dude? Man, he's, he's weird. Uh, well, anyways, on to the next story. We have to take the good with the bad. Well, we don't, but whatever. Here's some stuff about the Culinary Arts Program. Culinary Arts Program is one of the most successful programs that MATC has. Students learn everything from learning to cook beautiful cuisine to running a upscale restaurant. What makes us unique is this program, this class here, um, cuisine, is very unique. It's run by students in the front of the house and it's ran completely by students in the back of the house and that's what we're known for. People come to the restaurant to see the students live. Instructors have been professional chefs before coming back and teaching at MATC. They still learn from the students like the students are learning from them. I've been in the industry for 20 years and I learned something from students as well almost daily. So it's really exciting to be around all that energy and uh, to be, you know, having my hands on food on a daily basis. You still have to learn the who, the what, the when, the where, and the what of food. The basics of Stock soups and sauces, stocks is the basics to most flavoring, chicken stock, beef stock. A lot of foods are based on sauce in some way. If you're serious about becoming a chef, you should probably do a couple of things before you enroll. Work in the industry before they enroll in the program for at least a short period of time or spend some time in a professional kitchen. For more information, go to matc.edu. Mmm, they have some good stuff there, so go check it out, or, or not, it's your choice, I really don't care. The emergency phone that was put outside of the C building is out of order, but only after being out there for three days. But let's be honest, who really was going to use it when they can call the real police or just walk across the street to the police station? Stupid. Anyway. The next story is the MATC Promise. Here's Alina with that story. For 100 years, MATC has provided a valuable education for thousands of people. And now, they're about to provide a free one. MATC Promise started in September of 2015, and it's for um, high school seniors that we introduced it to. Um, it helps them realize their dream of going to college, and it's at no cost. Part of the promise is that um, after they apply for the financial aid um, and any state aid, 
the MATC promise cover, comes in and um, covers the rest of their um, tuition and fees. The MATC staff has been working tireless hours going to high schools, talking to high school seniors about this wonderful opportunity. The next question is, what do they have to do to get it? They have to have a 2.0 um, GPA. They have to be a high school on-time graduate. Um, they have to have a composite score of eight, uh, 16 on their ACT, which has to be done by May 1st. Um, their financial aid has to be done by March 15th, which is next Tuesday. Um, they have to have a 90% attendance uh, in their school. Um, and that's it. Oh, for a hundred more years, I'm to see keep providing these wonderful opportunities. And I'm so nervous. I didn't know they had that here, but maybe I wouldn't because uh, I'm not out of high school. Maybe I'll tell someone about it when I get out of here. I can't wait to get out of here, but this is how I make my money. Anyways, the TV and video production students has gone crazy trying to finish their student ops projects to make this program the best for you. So how do you think they're doing? Send your comments to the website below, www.whatevernews.com. So let's get into the weather. Oh yeah, you, we don't have to because we know it sucks. It doesn't know if it wants to be summer or fall yet. So guess what? I wear shorts all the time. I don't have time for guessing games. So, well, that's weather. The next story is about the barbershop program here at MATC. Are you having a bad hair day? Do you need a lining? Do you need a wash, cut, and style? Then come on down to MATC room 128, where they are giving away free haircuts from the barbershop and cosmetic program. We were charging hair for haircuts, and it happened that we were not getting enough clients in to satisfy the needs of all the students. So we decided that if we gave free haircuts, that we'd be able to gather in more clients which would enable the students to practice their skills more. And since we made that decision, it's been working great. And actually, we have an overflow of uh, clients from the student bodies to the faculty to staff to administration uh, to the public and women and children. And it's been great. So they have plenty of heads to work on and practice on and get ready for their careers. The experience that the students are getting now with the help of the free haircuts are amazing. And where I'm at now that it's gotten a lot better. Um, I came in with a little bit of experience and because of the instructors we have here, I feel with them being out in the industry and knowing a lot and being able to transfer that and teaching it to us, it's gotten me a lot better and sharpened up my skills. They, they show you everything that you need to learn from how you grab your tools, how you use them, all the way down to like uh, use uh, chemicals, like you know, color, uh, relaxers, everything. I feel like the program is developed to have you ready once you're, you know, once you're done. So I think I'll be equipped to be out there doing it all. What do the client think of the skills that they have developed and that they are helping develop more? You know, they do probably a better job than my regular barber sometimes. So, you know, give them a chance to, you know, help them on their profession and whatnot. Also like to give people an opportunity to work on their profession. So uh, I uh, took a chance to stop by and try it out for the first time. The students understand they're helping the community and honing their skills for the future service that we do offer on both ends for the students and for the clients that do come in with them coming in getting free haircuts free shaves free hair washes uh, you know it's, it's a great service to to service the community and at the same time gain experience as a student come on down support the students Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 3 back to you in whatever news Well, they look like they do nice work, and who can pass up free anything, right? So, let's get on to our next topic, sports. I got a lot to say about this one. 
Topic is about baseball. Now, baseball, greatest sport ever, America's pastime. You go to a stadium and you love it. Heck, you want to go see the Brewers play? Go to Miller Park. You sit down, you grab a hot dog, you grab a beer, and you sit down and you relax. And let me tell you, the way I see it, with their rebuilding, I can definitely see that they're going to go somewhere in the future. Maybe not this year, but definitely in the near future. But, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of all I have for sports. Uh, the next story is about write, Writing Center. Whatever that is. What is that? Here at MATC, there are 32 different clubs and organizations at the downtown campus alone. There's anime club, student government, just to name a few. But the organization I'm interested in is the Writing Center. At the Writing Center, we of course focus on writing projects, um, assignments in, in all different areas, psychology, sociology, um, of course, uh, the writing classes themselves. We're part of a, a, a group of um, support services, including the math and science lab, the tutoring center, and then another lab that's open service. How do you hear about the writing center? It is based on teachers letting students know that the service is available. Many of the teachers outside of the writing classes don't tell students about the centers. How many students actually use them? Um, on a daily basis, that, um, we probably have 30, 40 students at any given day that come through here. What's the feedback from the students that uses your services? I think the students who come here can tell you. <laughs> And, you know, the, the grades they see, and, and many do come back and say, hey, I got an A, or, you know, this really helped. When are the centers open? Monday through Friday, and it's 7.45 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Friday till 4. Now that you know, I hope you use them. Back to you, Kyle, or whatever news. Hmm. Well, that seems helpful. I should go to those centers and see what else they have to offer. Uh, the next thing you will be seeing is a trailer. A trailer about an upcoming short film called Without You, produced by Whatever News. Let's take a look. Past few weeks with Jake, they've been really good for me. I've come out of my shell some. He helps a lot, especially when I try to talk myself out of doing something. I laugh with him more than I did for the first 12 years of my life and way more than I did after. I think Jake knows something happened to me, just not what. He can understand when to push and when not to. It took me a while to trust him, but he earned my trust. And I want to share my story with him and tell him why I'm the way I am. Because he's my best friend. And best friends tell each other everything. Hey, Rocky. Oh, oh. So, well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, you might never see me again. And it would be too soon anyways. So, uh, please don't come back. Bye.